Hello and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we're going to take a look at how to add an AI path or AI road really into your Beam NG Drive map. Now this works whether you are doing your own map or you're using an existing map. Let's check it out. So I am starting out here on the ETK experience, but again, this will work on any map that you happen to be working on. So I'm over here in the drift circle and I am going to create a path uh, that is going to go around that outer uh, around the inner ring. So we're going to go on the outside here of this path. So what we're going to do is hit F11, and that is going to switch us into the world editor mode. Now, for my case, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that I have the entire circle within view. And then once I'm good to go with that, then I want to go up into the uh, toolbar, and I want to make sure that I've got the decal road editor selected. And that is the, the kind of last, second to the last icon over here. We got the decal road there. And then over on the left, there's an option to only show the AI roads. So we want to make sure that that is also selected. Once that's done, you're going to hold your left alt key down uh, and move your mouse to about where you want things to start, and you'll see this little white dot. Now, while you're holding down the Alt key, the left Alt key, you're going to move your mouse. You're not going to hold the mouse button. You're just going to move the mouse. And you'll notice that as you move the mouse, there's a segment of road or this white segment that kind of grows and shrinks as you move the mouse. So what you're going to do is continue to hold down the left Alt key and just move the mouse, click, move the mouse, click, move the mouse, click. Lather, rinse, repeat until you get your path laid out. Now I'm doing a circular path, but you can actually make the path go wherever your heart desires. If you're going to make a circuit type path where the end and the beginning line up again, then you want to make sure that you actually go past the starting point and they overlap. And then that's where you will click your last button. And when you're done, just let go of the left alt key. And now that is complete. Now, the problem is, as you see, there is a white circle on the map. And yes, that's a white circle over on the right hand side. You can see where it says material and under material, it's got that blank white. Well, we don't want blank white. What I usually pick is uh, I click on the three dots and then I'll come in here and I'll type ASP for asphalt. And you can pick a, you know, a different type of asphalt, you know, whatever you want. Um, where I'm just going to pick, uh, I don't know, we'll just pick this one cause whatever. Okay. So, uh, you see that the white disappears and there's a different layer of asphalt that is laid down there. And so, uh, you want to do that. The next thing you want to do is drivability. You want to change that to a one, a negative one means that the AI cannot drive on it. So it basically, it's just a decal road for you, I guess. I don't know. Um, but a one means that the AI can drive on there. Uh, and then uh, there's another option for a gated road, and that is an option. Gated means that the AI will stay on that specific road. Now, the downside to a gated road is that if you spawn traffic, traffic will not spawn on a gated road. But if you have your own AI car sitting there that you put in yourself, then it will just continue to stay on that road. I'm not going to do that for this demo, but it's just there to let you know. All right. So once you're done with that, then uh, let's see, we can hit uh, F11 and that will get us out of the editor and we can go down here and you can see because of the, uh, the, the material that I picked, you can see it kind of looks like weird. I don't know, skid marks or something. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, uh, we, we've got a path there um, that actually works for the tutorial. Um, you could find other asphalt uh, layovers that don't have any marks on it. And then that works perfectly fine. Oh, I did forget. Um, before you uh, before you do anything else, uh, actually go up to file and hit save so that you save the level. So again, I had to go back into the world editor with F11, file, save. And then uh, you're going to hold control and hit L and that will reload the level. Anytime you add AI pathing to a map, you will have to save the map and then control L to reload the map. Because even though you put the AI pathing in there, the game doesn't know that it's there. It, it's a little weird, I know. But what we're going to do now is spawn in a vehicle. I don't know. How about a GTR group five 
bolide because why not? <laughs> if we're going to do this, let's do this, right? All right, so here is my car. Now, for the AI to work, I'm going to switch back to my default car, and we'll just move it up here. I don't have to move it up. I'm just doing that just because. So I'm going to move this up, and now we will hit Escape, go to AI and Random, and you'll notice that the bolide takes off on its own. So I, I don't know if we're going to be able to catch that car in our bastion, but you know what? Hey, why not? We'll give it a shot. Well, we can at least follow along. But as you can see, the AI car is following this path. And really, that's it in a nutshell. Now, I'm going to show you how to add path or change the path. Um, but that's the basics of how this works. Uh, you go into the world editor, make sure that you got the decal road selected, hold left alt. While you're holding left alt, draw the road out. Make sure you save the level, control L to reload the level, and then put in your AI and let them drive to your heart's content. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, so let me stop the AI here. And again, I want to show you how you can change your uh, decal road pathing. So for the sake of argument, let's say that we don't just want it to go in circles. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to go back to the world editor and uh, I'm going to click on the decal road editor and then click on my actual decal road. And you'll notice that I can just grab the last node. Now, remember, this was the last node where we were. And once I've clicked on it, now I can just hold the left alt key like we did before. So I'm holding the left alt key and I'm dragging and clicking, dragging and clicking. Um, by the way, the closer the nodes that you put together, um, the better the AI knows what to do in between the two different nodes. So uh, when you're working on especially like tight curves, you want to make sure that you kind of get those dots close to each other. But it's, you know, your mileage may vary. It's something you can play with. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to come down here again, make sure they overlap, and then let go of my left alt key. I'm going to file save the map. Remember, anytime you do pathing, you have to save it. And then you need to do control L in order to reload the map so that it finds the new AI path that you just put in. So I'm going to, let's say I need to switch to my other car here. Okay, so now AI and random again. And we will see where the bolide goes. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know where it's going to go. Okay, so it's going back out around uh, the whole path again. Now, remember, I picked random, so it's going to go wherever it wants to. Um, it, it may or may not come into the middle. You'll notice that you can see because of the material that, that was chosen, you can kind of see the those marks, uh, which again, for the tutorial, it's great because you can see where the road goes. So let's see if the bolide takes the path up. Okay, well, he actually kind of slowed down there trying to decide what he wanted to do, but he blew past it. So um, I'll tell you what, let me, uh, let's zoom in here and let's uh, stop the AI. And I'm just going to jump down to where the... Um, Oops, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so let's free cam. Let me get over onto this path that we've got here. And uh, we'll just kind of drop it here in a place. Um, and I am going... I'm going backwards. I mean, technically, I could just tell the AI to start going from here. But um, I'm going to go ahead and set it for this direction because that's the way we were already going. Again, I switch to my other car and I tell it AI random. And now you can see that the bolide is going to follow that secondary path that I had put into place. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. So let's see. I'm curious to see what happens when it gets to the end. Um, when it gets to where I overlapped the path over here on the right hand side, um, that the car decides where it's going to go. So it might go around the loop. It's uh, nope. It's going to go right back onto the uh, track again. So, okay. So it is taking that inner path again. I, I don't have control over the AI, man. It's random. It's doing its own thing. Uh, and 
that's you know that that's the fun of AI in BeamNG. So here we go, coming back through the little chicane kind of thing that we made here, and we will see what happens when the car comes out this time, and it. Oh, look at there. Okay, so this time it decided to go left and it's going the opposite direction around the outer ring. Oh, that is so cool. I'm glad it did that because <laughs> I was hoping it would pick a different path so you could see what it would do. All right, so there you go. That is creating AI roads in Beam NG Drive. Hope that helps. And I appreciate you watching so much. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C, Zachary, 7220 Gamer, and the Maestro of Madness for supporting the channel on Patreon and channel memberships. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Got any other questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Whoa. <laughs> Zooming in weirdly with the camera. Anyhow, I'm David Inark. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.